Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start tracing off this um, bodice back. I have opened up the dart area. I'm going to trace this right here because once I get my dart legs marked, I'm going to close that back up. And simply draw this line on the bottom okay all right so there's that just need to pin this to keep it in place I'm going to at the point where this point right here where I I don't know if you can see it <laughs> this point right here where that's part of the dart um, with I'm going to start right there up to this point right here which is my underarm all right then I'm just going to simply trace around it's really a challenge to see on this blue on blue but we're gonna make it work so I'm gonna trace around my arms armhole okay then I'm going to trace around the shoulder seam here I think you can see it excuse me again the seam allowance is already included so all I have to do is trace this out based on the adjustment that I made and then we've got the neckline which is now a deep V in the back. Okay, and then simply to center back. And then I will mark my dart. Um, I will mark my dart and we will be done. All right, so I need to mark the vanishing point of the dart, which is right here. Okay, that's my vanishing point. I'm just gonna mark it on both sides of the fabric with the chalk. This is this is my wrong side of the fabric so I'm just going to lift it up and mark it right there on this side is the wrong side of my fabric I'm going to mark it right there all right and we've got our back side adjusted we've got it cut out I'm going to be cutting it out And then we'll have our back ready, our facing already fits here, our facing fits here, okay, that's our center back, it fits here, and then um, my dart will be marked here and here, so I'll go ahead and mark my dart lines. Remember, in, um, in anything that you buy, you might, you might want to redesign it, actually. You could very well want to redesign something that you purchased. Okay, so I had to make some corrections. I'm not sure where I left off. However, this is the final draft of the bodice back. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Be sure when you're making adjustments to your bodice that, and you have to recut it out, make allowance for that dart that was in there um, so that the adjustment will still fit the way you need it to fit. All right, so I'm just going to cut this out. Takes a little while, just a moment. 
Remember, I have seam allowance already on every side. Okay, including the sleeve because I'm not sure yet if I'm going to add um, a sleeve or a sheer sleeve. I'm not sure yet which way I want to go with that. So I added seam allowance to the sleeve. Okay. Now you might say, why are you using um, fashion fabric to make a sample? Well, it's not a sample anymore. This is actually the adjustment for the bodice back that was not fitting appropriately. So this is my back. Make sure I can still see you or you can still see me actually. <laughs> Okay, how's the weather where you guys are at? It is hot down here in Tennessee. I'm going to go ahead and mark my other dart legs here. And then I'm going to sew this up. Dart leg to dart, I mean, uh, sew this up. And attach it to the shoulders on the front so that I can add the facing again to the back. So I've already got my facings already ready. All I have to do is apply them to the back, to the shoulders. So here's the front. Here's the front. This is the front. So the front was fine. I didn't have any problems with the front. The front was fitting fantastic, especially in the dart area. Um, again, I uh, adjusted the neckline because for me it was just a little bit too tight. So I opened up the neckline. This is a modified V. The back is a deep V right here but so I'm going to sew this I'm going to turn this over that will be my back and then I'm going to add the excuse me I'm going to add the um, facing to the back and our top will be complete as soon as I reassemble everything so that's what I'll be doing now all right, so here we go. Shoulder seams and side seams are going to be connected. And then after that, I'll surge off the, the seams to clean it up. that stitch in at the beginning and the end of your seam here. Don't forget to take your pins out. gave myself a little bit of difference on this shoulder seam. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I had already 
remove the seam allowance on the first construction. So I didn't want it to be um, too big, <laughs> even a smidge too big. So I gave myself that room on that. And this is the last side seam. Stitch, back stitch. Take your pins out as you go so you don't nick your needle. I don't know if I'm bouncing up and down. I was trying to... I talk a lot when I'm sewing. <laughs> I try to keep my logical mind occupied when my creative mind is going. That way I'm not um, I'm thinking about some crazy things. <laughs> All right, so this is what we've got. We've got our shoulder seams done. We've got our side seams done. I'm going to go ahead and take it to the serger, take it to the ironing board, and show you what I've got so far.